ghosts, witches, devils, Dracula. Heavy metal music, hard drinking, mayhem. Dracula. What's up, everybody? You're listening to the Drunk in a Graveyard podcast. You better put down those crack pipes and beer bongs. And my name is Robin. I'm Scott. I'm Rigby. <laughs> you drinking some G Fuel over there, I my am, friend. I am. I am. In- you I feel am. like a true gamer? I am. I feel the gamer... Rising up, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I feel like the urge to say a slur is like... <laughs> It's building up. The misogyny energy in yeah, you is just yeah. like overwhelming. <laughs> the male gaze. Yes. Want to go write like a twenty-two thousand word think piece about the Last of Us two? I'm like mad that like I have to play as a girl in a video game. I hate it. I want to be a white guy with brown hair for the fucking hundredth time. <laughs> and if not that, I want to be a white guy with sandy blonde hair. <laughs> 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 and you're like getting upset about jiggle mechanics. Oh yeah. Definitely. I'm like, this needs more ray tracing. I don't I still don't know what that is. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Whenever I see it, I always read it as track racing, and I always think there's like go karts. Everything's Mario Kart yeah. now. Yeah. I wish. Yeah. I mean PlayStation tried it. They tried to have a fucking Mario Kart. I'm sorry, content. what? Yeah. With like Crash Bandicoot it was Crash Bandicoot Racing. Oh, I have that on my PlayStation One. Yeah. It's hard as shit, dude. Yeah, because it's Crash Bandicoot. Because Crash Bandicoot's hard as shit. <laughs> it's so fucking hard. I played the remaster. I was like, nope. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's very difficult. Same with Spyro. Yes. Hard as shit. I don't know how we did it. We, we had, had nothing else to do. We had one game. Or, yeah. It was like, either go throw rocks at the backs of stop signs or play fucking Spyro. <laughs> okay, well, we didn't grow up in the 50s. <laughs> uh, yeah, I definitely never threw rocks at stop signs. <laughs> Well, <laughs> go throw rocks at the trains or go play Spyro. There you go. <laughs> and then go play outside until your mom would bang a tuna can with a fork and you would come in for supper. <laughs> oh, time for num nums. Anyways. Anyways, Jesus Christ. So we're back in podcast form. Oh, yes. And what did we just see? <laughs> Suicide Squad. <laughs> we did see. Couldn't Suicide resist. Squad. I couldn't. We we uh we didn't sit through the post credit sequences. But anyways, I refuse. <laughs> okay. To the point where like I want to like after I see a movie and if I like walk down to the bottom of the theater, I want to like look up at people that are still sitting in their seats and be like, "You fucking idiots!" <laughs> like it makes me so mad, and I'm sure it makes the theater staff mad too because like, oh fuck, I'm gonna take an extra ten minutes. Because some fucking dickwad in the theater needs to wait to watch a two second long fucking clip of Batman getting out of the fucking car or something. You know what I mean? It's always oh, something yeah. stupid. Yeah, I agree. So we went and saw sui- the Suicide Squad. Yes. The Puicide Squad, as we've been calling it in our group chat, because we are mature, we are adults, and we uh, we didn't even go to this movie and pay for it. Dad, S- Daddy Scott. <laughs> Used his uh his points and got like us all me that. free Thanks. tickets. Thanks, Daddy. Thanks, Daddy. No. <laughs> pop, pop. There we go. Yeah, call me Pop, Pop from now on. <laughs> no, it's because you've like slowly started morphing into a barbecue dad. Well, like, that's I what think... happens when you have a barbecue. It's I... not that slowly. No, it's happened quite rapidly. Actually, <laughs> yeah, absolutely, he's, it has. he's gained like a like a love for button up shirts and like a passion for spices and rubs. New. And that's your new identity. Yes, yeah, is my post pandemic identity would you say it's your white boy summer yes chad hanks would be proud of you i don't think he would <laughs> i don't think he would either i'm not waving around a jamaican flag that was fucked up huh appropriately <laughs> saying words that i should not be saying as a white man yeah no that if you guys want to piss your pants go watch chet hanks the son of tom hanks thomas hanks <laughs> Uh, he, Hanks, for he whatever inexplicable yeah. reason, which I can only imagine is whiskey and cocaine, uh, decided to make a song and a accompanying video for said song called White Boy Summer. And, um, yeah, it's on the internet. The song's like under two minutes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he didn't. 
He's got put a lot he's of work got in. like like backup dancers like popping booties in his face. No, I I saw it. I seen it. Doesn't it, his sunglasses? I feel get knocked off with the force of the ass. <laughs> <laughs> the only like ass in a music video that I want is like a like a juvenile music video. Careful! Whoa! Oh, That's the, the rapper! The rapper! Yeah, the rapper! <laughs> oh. Not check f- yourself. <laughs> All right, no, not the problematic. What you you guys thought? Get your minds out of the gutter. Sin. <laughs> Sin. None mm-hmm. of you are free of sin. Mm-hmm. No, I want like that juvenile. Like, there's lots of asses in that. Or the alternate is Psy, where he's screaming into a woman's ass and she's doing yoga in Gangnam Style. <sighs> Gangnam Style. <laughs> they play that on the radio sometimes, and I could hear it like the intro, and I was like, "Don't, please, don't be Gangnam Style." Please. And then it is, and it always is. See, that's yeah. like North America's brush with Korea. They've got Gangnam Style and Parasite and the BTS meal. That's oh. all North America knows about and South and Korea. Korean fried chicken. Yes, which like uh, it's good, but like, can we move on? We don't need seven fucking Korean fried chicken restaurants in Kamloops. It's alone. so brutal. Yeah. Um. Here's a funny story for you. We were in Vancouver. This is obviously pre pre plague. And we were walking out of a concert, walking to in. We were like, oh, we should go get something to eat. And there was a multitude of restaurants, and not, we weren't too passionate about any of them. But one was playing Gangnam Style, and I'm not saying just playing it, fucking pounding it. And I was just like, okay, so it doesn't matter how good the food is in here. We're not going into the place that is like pounding Gangnam Style. I don't know. We're Opa Gangnam Style. I don't know. <laughs> I was like, absolutely not. It'd be the, it, and it would be the same thing as if it was playing like the fucking Macarena. Like, I'd be Did like, you know there's a like Gangnam style monument in Gangnam? I would assume. Is it I, the horse riding? It's the hands. It's oh giant. My God. I was watching a drama and like a couple was breaking up on the street. And I was like, oh my God, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> and it was like across the street in the distance. And I had to pause and like enhance, enhance. <laughs> I know. I told Matt about it. He's like, well, do you want to go there when we go to Korea? And I was like, I Obviously. can afford anything in Gangnam. Are you fucking kidding? You can afford seeing the statue. I can afford the t- fucking train ticket to go there on the fucking subway. Well, you, could, like, you could get an Instagram video of you doing the dance in front of the statue. No. Like, probably every fucking white person does. I don't want that. Yeah. I know I made a blanket statement, but I bet I'm right. And then they throw me out of the country. <laughs> Deservedly. Yeah, that's well, maybe you right go, to do you so. You can just go scream into someone's ass who's doing yoga. <laughs> that's what I've always wanted to do. I think that'll get you thrown out of any country. <laughs> <laughs> It'll certainly not like you allowed near like churches, schools, and parks. No, that's yeah. fair. So, yeah, we went to see The Suicide Squad. So before we even get into it, if you have not seen The Suicide Squad and you want to escape the spoiler plague... We fear no spoilers here at mm-hmm. the Drunken and Graveyard podcast because we are ascended galaxy brains. <laughs> However, if you are a spoiler person, then you need to uh, turn this off and then come back to it or just listen along because it's a friggin' superhero movie and I'm sure you know what happens in it or you can at least guess. And it's also James Gunn, so, you know, it's gonna be weird. Don't be a spoiler, Sally. I haven't seen those yet. No, they're gone now. Uh, Tommy, they're not with us. Tommy Texter? He's, he's he gone. died of COVID. <laughs> oh my God. Complications. <laughs> Tommy Texter died of COVID. Him and that little snowman. Oh, in the, no. the Scotiabank snowman. I hate that fucking ad so much. <laughs> it's so sad. I've got up and left. <laughs> I've been like, I, I can't deal with it. I'll come back in five minutes. <laughs> like, you go rock a shit, maybe. You just go stand. <laughs> what are you doing? Standing? <laughs> Don't even leave the theater. Just like go in the little like the vomitorium or whatever it's called and I'm stare sorry. at the wall. Did you say the vomitorium? <laughs> it's called a vomitorium. It is. The little like area where the door is. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's called. Why? I don't know. This whole fucking theater. It's the Romans. Blame the Romans. That's where you go to puke. Maybe you do. In horror. I knew it was called that, but I didn't know why. The vomitorium. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's just the like series of entrances into a amphitheater or theater. That's where you want to go fucking blow chunks. I guarantee it. It's a misconception, but yeah, because oh. the word vomit is in there. Well, yeah, no yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I don't know. It's fucking blame the Romans. <laughs> we can blame them for lots of stuff. I already do. 
I don't oh, know. Boy. Blame my theater upbringing. I do oh, that too. Yeah. All right. What's what's happening? So we're going to be talking Squad? about uh, Puicide Squad, which is directed by our fave James Gunn. James Gunt. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, That's my roller derby name, <laughs> and I can say that because I'm fat. So don't even <laughs> fucking at me. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Apparently, like words like that, you're not supposed to use. Because... Gunt. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, <laughs> I thought you were reaching for the Sailor Moon flask filled with old whiskey, and I was like, oh, we've reached that part of the podcast. No, no. No, no. I can say the word gunt because I'm fat, so don't even fucking Is this like me. a take back the night sort of situation? I guess. Taking it back. Well, I think because there's a whole movement with like <laughs> like saying fat, like people okay. are like, because fat is like, it, it is. A descriptor? It's a descriptor, but it's also a slur. Like to be like you just need, it's it's kind of, like you need to put a little stank on it you know, but like now people are pretty like pretty hot and tempting, but now people are like well I am f- I am fat and it's like like I'm taking it back, taking it back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I am fat, so I can say gun. Fuck it. All right, James Gunn. He's huh. a he's a he's a guy, and he I don't know why he's doing the Suicide Squad. I don't. Do we know why? Money. He, yeah, he's got the that. The old ID Aller. Because <laughs> DC was like, we saw what you did with fucking Galaxy, or Gal- Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, one get, at least. Did he get fired from that? Yeah, Disney fired him and then they hired him back. For what? They fired him for like some tweets from over a decade ago when he was like a trauma right. guy. And then and, they like, hired doing him. And like doing Slither. And then they were like, okay, the shit's calmed down. We hired you back because you're money. But in that interim period... DC was like, give us that gun magic oh. because they tried it with the ill-fated David Ayer suicide squad. That mess. was one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my entire life. Yep. The first suicide squad. Yeah. Her name's no. Katana. Oh my God. She's got my back. <laughs> I'd advise not getting killed by her because her sword traps the souls of its enemies. That movie was so fucking shittily edited like to the there was a scene where will smith i don't even know what the fuck he was dead shot yeah he was, was idris like, alba's character in the new one was like talking to somebody and it panned back to will smith and he was like blah 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 blah, blah and it panned back to the person he was talking to and they're like blah 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 and it panned back to will smith and then panned back again and there was just somebody else there yeah like hi i'm here too why not like what? <laughs> oh yeah that movie was an editing nightmare i also didn't know this is something that i learned and perhaps you will learn it as uh, as well with me mm. um is that james gunn wrote and produced the belco experiment i didn't know that oh that was one with the people in the office that go crazy and kill each other right yeah yeah, yeah. what did michael the mouse hire him back to do uh, he did Guardians, Guardians of the, Three, Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardians Two. They He's, came out with a third one. They're going to be doing out. it's yeah. uh, 2023. No, thank you. Yeah, I didn't like two. I didn't like two either. One was really good. One yeah. is the only Marvel movie that I own on Blu-ray. My mom really liked one, and then we went to go see two, and then she was like, "Well, I guess you can't catch lightning in a bottle twice." Well, and I was that. like, "Damn, Dara." Yeah, <laughs> like they're gonna. I'm sure DC will get him to make Suicide Squad two. And Suicide Squad poo. Yeah. All right. Wow. <laughs> Jesus um, Christ. Yeah, and it won't it'll be the same situation. But about the the one that currently exists that is actually mm. pretty good. It was good. I liked it a lot. I thought this movie whipped like a pretty good amount of ass. It, it was did. very fun. It did. I, I had a fun old time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I liked that it was uh they they took the people that were good in the original, like the the ori- the David Ayer version, mm. you know, Margot Robbie. Fucking Love her. Joel, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I sound like, like her a fucking a lot. pervert now. Mm. Uh, but also, she's a good actress. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And other things. Um, Joel were ta- Kinnaman. Were you talking about her butt? I'm uh, talking about her butt. Oh, okay. She does. Uh, I was nice talking about her face. I think that she too. Got a pretty face. Yeah. It's all good. She's super hot. It's yeah, I like her a lot. Um, Joel Kinnaman. Oh, mm. no. Ah, Mamma Mia. <laughs> Brett Likey. Yeah. And that's it. That's all they kept. Mamma Mia. I don't know. I think the funniest thing to me is that they were like, Will Smith, 
get the fuck out of here. We're getting Idris Elba in here. Yeah, and he's gonna play the exact foxier. same fucking character. Mm-hmm. Idris Elba's so good looking. Oh it's my nuts. fucking god! When they were like, he might be the next James Bond. I was like, that's the first time I'm ever gonna go see a James Bond movie in the theater. Yeah, right. Yeah, and it had uh, John Cena. Dun, 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 dun. I like John Cena. I do too. Yeah. He also likes BTS. He and loves he has, BTS. He has a gorgeous ass. His ass in this was nuts. I'm just saying. Yeah. We have a lot in common. We both have BTS and we both uh, have great asses. You are known for your ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So I, uh, we also had like a an, uh, an addition that, that I quite enjoyed. I liked the Polka Dot Man. Yeah. yeah, you love the Pokemon um, Man. What else I was do. that act? Who was it? Who played him? Uh, I know it from Mulholland Drive in that part where he was in the diner and he was like, "I had a nightmare." Blah 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 blah. And then they go around the corner and the homeless guy's like, Bleh. "Yeah," because he was in um one of the <laughs> not describe that very well. That <laughs> eh, was all right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> was he was in one of the Christopher Nolan Batman movies as well? Yes, as like uh, a psycho that the Joker used yeah he's got a sad boy face yeah oh yeah he, he does he's, he's got big guy. where's my hug energy yes oh boy that's a yikes a um, oh, oh that that's of all the what? things i've said that, that he's got big uh where's my where's my hug energy what's giving you that everything about him oh <laughs> me oh. existing as a woman on this planet and seeing men <laughs> is what's giving me that energy Okay. I'm trying to find the uh the actor who actually uh portrayed him. Wow, really professional. Seems like something you should have done before we started oh, no, recording. I would never do that. <laughs> yeah, you're too busy showing me pictures of David Dasmalkin. Uh tattoos. Oh. And what else has he been in? Look it up. The two things we just said. Mulholland Drive and He's been in other things too. Cuz we saw him in a movie recently and we were like, "Oh fuck." That's that guy because he's like he's a schizophrenic in one of the Christopher uh, Nolan Batman movies. Twelve yeah. Monkeys. Oh. He's in uh, CSI Cyber. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Cyber Sex maybe. <laughs> May- maybe you don't oh. know. Uh, did I say MacGyver? He's in the Flash. Uh, <sighs> he's in Ant Man. Weird, but he's in the Dark Knight. Uh, I think that's probably where I'm remembering from. I know he's from- in. The Angry Video Game Nerd, the movie. Uh oh. Oh boy. Angry Video Game Nerd. Um, he's also a problematic fave. Yeah, he's in Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Mm, right. I haven't yeah. seen it. Oh, it's good. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Oh my god. What? He's fucking in Dune. Oh shit. He's Peter. Dev- oh shit. Uh oh. Oh, we saw the Dune preview in the movies, and you got really excited. I it was did. really cute. Yeah. It's gonna be good. Yeah. Yeah. It will be good. Yeah. Let's get on the Suicide Squad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. So let's talk about the basic plot of Suicide Squad. What I really liked about this is that it just kind of opened up and was like, okay, here it is. They're the Suicide Squad, so figure the fuck out. How superhero movies need to go. Yeah. yeah, we don't need a gritty origin story every time we make the fucking movie. We all understand the basic idea of superheroes. They should start implementing the Star Wars scrawl. Like yeah. Like Spider-Man, like his parents died or whatever the fuck. Yeah. I forget what happened. <laughs> fuck uh, so Amanda Waller, she's a lady from the first one. She's one who get who gets together the Suicide Squad. So she sends two ta- su- two two Suicide Squads, uh, uh, consisting of Belle Reeve penitentiary inmates, to the island of Corto Maltese after its government has been overthrown in an anti-government coup, mm. coup, in a coup. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, in Fre- a coop. Freedom, freedom fitters mm-hmm. uh, did a coop. Mm. I almost said freedom fritters. <laughs> Delicious. That, that seems like an American yeah. pastry. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. That would happen when they get mad at someone. Yeah. Yeah. Rename their food. Yeah, <laughs> that's very dumb. We're gonna get them. <laughs> That'll show them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the two squads are, are like, hey, we're gonna fucking sort this out. So the first squad doesn't know that there's a second squad. The second squad doesn't know that there's a first squad. Yeah. So the first squad has Michael Rooker, who's wearing, uh, what I can only describe as Geralt of Rivia's, like, <laughs> wig, fright yeah. wig that got discarded off the set of The Witcher. It fell off Henry Cavill, Henry Cavill's ass. And then Michael Rooker was like, hmm, found wig, put it on. <laughs> Free wig. <laughs> no, you know what I liked about this is that, None of us have watched. I like how you're Walk- pontificating with a bottle opener right now. <laughs> None of us have watched Walking Dead for like mm, probably like 
eight years. Oh, yeah. If not more, yeah. And Michael Rooker showed up. I immediately leaned over and said, baby brother to Scott. And then seconds later, you did the same thing. <laughs> That's because we have one brain cell. We're like that. We're like a hive mind. Um, like the starfish that show up later in this movie. <laughs> like when they're all talking like as one. Like, yeah, one saying, of us. Yeah, they're all saying, baby brother. Like, <laughs> I, anytime I see Michael Rooker, I'm like, Merle... <laughs> I can't even remember what fucking happened to him on the show. Zombies. I assumed. Zombies. Uh, yeah. Did he not get like locked to a friggin' thing, and then his friggin' arm got friggin'? Yeah, but then he had a cool knife hand. Yeah, and then but he's then like, it's me, baby brother. And then I can't remember what happened. Daryl kills him because then he cries about it. He does. Oh. Like, he does ugly cry face. And there was that meme where it was him like laying on the ground crying, holding a bowl of salad. <laughs> good times uh, anyways the, the walking dead was really stupid you know yeah i heard they're making like seven more yeah probably okay let's move on do you remember the fucking oh, the, boy. the governator <laughs> the governor was so dumb <laughs> that show was so boring yeah okay it really was when he had a, like he was like i'm no longer in power so now i have a wicker eye patch <laughs> What's the stupidest <laughs> shit ever? Like, I, I'm no longer, I've been deposed from my seat of terroristic power. I'm gonna knock myself down a bag. <laughs> He's like, oh, I found someone's old fucking dining mat. Like, just cut out, like, a old piece of wicker. Jesus or Christ. someone's, like, old shitty chair. <laughs> I gotta, like... <laughs> The even funnier part is like he had to, he had to have had scissors or a knife or something. So the governor's just oh, yeah. like, "Oh, son of a bitch! Nobody helps me around this house." Like cutting up like, an, old, an old wicker like fucking placemat. And like, oh, now I'm sad. I've got a wicker. Eye. Then he's like, got his groove back and he's coming on up. <laughs> Oh, the governor got his groove back. <laughs> the governor's new clothes. Okay. Uh, pull the lever, Kronk. <laughs> all right. <laughs> What's what? Okay, so they all go to this fucking beach. It's it's a weasel. It's not the beach that makes you old. <laughs> no, they didn't go there. No. All beaches make you old if you hang out there for long enough. <laughs> hey, that is a galaxy brain take. Uh, yeah, no, <laughs> man. It's what? It's weasel. Yeah, and. Rick Flag, which is the most ridiculous. I love like him. I love that that's his real name, yeah. which is stupid. And then there's uh, Pete Davidson. <laughs> yes, Pete Davidson. Uh, Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. TDK. Yes, it was Nathan Fillion. Yes. And they're like, "What does TDK stand for?" What do you say? He's like, "It's my name." That's yeah, my name. Your name's a bunch of letters. Yeah. When Boomerang was there, and he was like, "All names are letters, dickhead." Yeah. And I laughed really hard at that. Because he's got he's Australian. Yeah. He has that reaction. Uh and then there was the javelin. Yes. And he had a javelin. Had a javelin. What a power. <laughs> I, what had a stick. I mean the other I guy's named it. after a boomerang. Yeah, so. they both had like throw throwable based uh weapons. <clears throat> yeah. And names. Yeah. So they were like uh and also Michael Ricker. And they're like, We're gonna go launch we're gonna go to this beach. Uh and then <clears throat> Pete Davidson was like Hey, hey, it's me, Pete Davidson. I fucked Ariana Grande, and I think she wrote a song about me. Oh, is that know. what he did? He 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 was engaged to Ariana Grande. Isn't she problematic? No, she just has that really high ponytail. Oh, a little bit, because I thought she was Hispanic, and then I saw a picture of her without any like bronze or anything on it. I was like, that bitch white. I think she's like Italian. I think she's gotten like accused of like blackfishing before. Yeah, I thought she was Hispanic for show. Well, she has that, like, she got that tattoo that was supposed to mean seven rings, like, named after her album, and it just means, like, barbecue in Japanese. Which is arguably a much cooler it tattoo. Is. <laughs> Catch me all day with a tattoo that said barbecue. Are you kidding me? But yeah, so he has betrayed them. Oh, what a and shock. And is like, I'm the guy who contacted you. I sold them out. Mm -hmm. And then, in James Gunn style, he gets his fucking face blasted off. J off like Face yeah off. yeah very cool john travolta would be proud it was great it was yeah. very cool uh and it was like a like an old double cross triple cross kind of thing and then like everyone's like well it's every man for his or herself or shark self or weasel self the shark wasn't in it yet it was that alien chick 
There was the alien, I think her name was Magool or something. Bagool. Bagool, yeah. Yeah. Sure. That's you know, that's what the name was. Yeah. And then there was the weasel that was just like, hey. but the weasel didn't know how to swim, so it died immediately. But then it didn't, because it was alive and shuffled into the woods at the end. Yeah. That's me going to the bathroom in the middle of the night. That's you going to the bathroom here. <laughs> yeah. That's why the cats don't like you. One cat likes me. They think that you're some kind of ghoul. <laughs> Whatever. My like, yeah. God, that fucking bitch is here shuffled around yelling. Yeah, whatever. Wait, what are you going to do? Mm. So oh. the weasel can't swim, so it dies immediately. Then the everyone's like, hey, it's every man for himself. And then Michael Rooker's just standing there watching. Yeah. And then Harley Quinn's like, I have a bazooka and I'm a clown. And then, their sick ass back patch. What was it? It says "Live fast, die clown." Yeah, die so, clowning. Oh, I thought it was a die clown. I think it was die clowning. No, I think it's "Live fast, uh, die clown." Well, either way, there uh, was a some, great back patch. Can't yeah. wait for the cosplay. Yeah, there was some alternates, which was clown AF. Oh, I hate that one. And world's best grandpa. Oh, I love <laughs> that, that one. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> Don't you have a shirt that says "World's Best Grandpa"? You guys bought me a shirt. This is like one eight hundred old fart on yeah. it. <laughs> and you're not wearing it right now, and I'm offended. I'm wearing sweatpants. Well, and you have that other shirt that says, "Of course I come fast. I got fish to catch." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why did you buy that? Uh, because it's funny as hell. I don't know. It was like twelve dollars. Has anyone like, yep. ever said anything? Have you been like ever out? In no, and I've worn it like to Walmart. I wore it to the liquor store. People are nobody's probably gonna af- fucking say people anything are probably to the af- chick wearing that. People are probably afraid. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised guys are like, fuck, this chick comes fast. That's good. It's 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 good if a girl wears it, isn't it? But it's bad if a boy wears it. <laughs> I don't think it's good for anybody to wear it. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do... <laughs> Here we go. Because it's, for those of you at home listening, it, it says on the top, of course I come fast, and then it has like a shitty clip art of a big mouth bass, and then underneath it it says, I've got fish to catch. But I was thinking about bucking the sleeves off, and then cutting the bottom into tassels, and then braiding the tassels. There you go. So it just says, of course I come fast, and then a picture of a fish. Yes. <laughs> Support it. <laughs> so it makes even less, and then it's like a belly top. Gross. <laughs> you can get some of those beads at the dollar store. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's quite funny. I love that for you. It's very good. Yeah. Like, I don't, is it fish? Is the fish helping her come? It'll be confusing for everyone. Oh, it's like a Led Zeppelin situation. You put a fish up there. What? What? I think it was either them or Motley <laughs> Crue, but they put a fish up a fucking the old vagenda. A live fish? Yeah. Well, yeah, and then you poke its eyes. And then the tail wiggles around to hit that spot, you know? What? 70s were, <laughs> 60s and 70s were bad for So you put a groupies. fish tail in. Yeah. yeah. And then jab its eyeballs. Yeah. Didn't they have vibrators in this? Is this no, caveman were, times? No, like, I think they were just... Oh, go fish and pussy. Like, <laughs> just get a vibrator, guys. I think what? it was more about the, uh, insulting the woman. Oh, hurting the woman, hurting yes. the woman. Yes. Very popular motif these yes. days. And those days. Any oh, yes. day. <laughs> well, considering most of their groupies were like teenagers. Yeah. Oh, very uh, cool. Oh, key. Cool. Don't, well, anyway, don't... Back to the beach. <laughs> the beach that doesn't make you old. No, it makes you dead. <laughs> well, that's a kind of old. That's a sequel to old. <laughs> dead. dead. <laughs> but yeah. So basically everyone dies on this beach except for Harley Quinn and, Rick, and Flag. Rick Flag. But right before Javelin dies... <laughs> He's like, take my javelin. And Harley's like, okie dokie. What is her <laughs> accent J? from? Is she it like, a, be like New York? New Jersey? I think it's like Jersey. Yeah. yeah. Like, a, yeah. We're offending some people in Jersey. Whatever. Like, I go down to Jersey, get a bagel. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. They'll eat a big sandwich. They'll be fine. Yeah. Do you know that one of like Jersey's bar foods, like after the bar, is called a garbage plate? Yeah. And it consists of a hamburger, uh. a macaroni salad, and mustard and ketchup mm-hmm. and relish just over the top of it. And then it's cut up. Oh, and French fries as well. And then it's all mixed up together. So it's just a cut up hamburger patty, macaroni salad, French fries, mustard and ketchup and relish all mixed up in this big fucking conglomeration. I'd eat it. I would too. That seems like something like a chav would come up with too. Like I feel like that's like specific to like Jersey and like. 
ah, Galway. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. I mean, I'd eat it. Yeah. Fucking thing. Like, donairs. You gotta are... soak that. It sops. Mm-hmm. You gotta, yeah. you know, you should eat that before you drink. I don't think that it would be visually appealing. I don't think you yeah, get to. Because I think true. afterwards, or like after you get like really high on illicit drugs, uh, which we would never advocate uh-huh. doing or using, mm. uh, I think then it would, you you move past how ugly the food is. Like if someone's really stoned, like they'll eat like crushed up Doritos in like a can of beans. I've seen it. That sounds not bad. Okay. All right, let's move on. Well, so everyone's dad on beach one. So it's time to go to Beach 2 with Team 2. Where mm-hmm. Idris Elba is leading yes. a giant shark man, John Cena, in very tight pants. It's a, excuse me, it is King Shark, played by Sylvester Stallone, in his iconic lifetime achievement role. This is I his would dub- agree. Fuck Rambo. This yeah. is the movie. Yeah. What was the King Shark's name? It was like Nana Nui or something? I don't know. Baba Booey? Baba Booey. Yeah, Baba, Baba Booey. Booey. Howard Stern's penis, Baba Booey. <laughs> No, I think it was like Nan- Nanue. I, I think so, assume it was yeah. probably like Samoan. Oh. I don't know. They Nanu. Said Nanu. Oh. Nanu, Nanu. Okay. Yeah. I, Let's. Okay. All right. Thank you for fucking... taking a little trip down back down to the 70s there, my yeah. friend. All right. Jesus Christ. All right. So there's also someone named Ratcatcher 2 because Ratcatcher 1 died dead. And Ratcatcher 1 played by Taika Waititi. Yeah. yeah. I love Taika He's Waititi. the new, like, he's like, he is like. Uh, triple A Hollywood uh, version of Lloyd Kaufman in which he will just fucking show up in your shit. Lloyd Kaufman wasn't in this. That's a little... Uh, I'm, Or maybe he was and I missed it. Yeah. Because he, he was in Guardians. Was he? Yeah. He's, Lloyd Kaufman. Uh, a prisoner. And he's like, starts the like, he's rooting them on when they're uh, fighting. Remember when we watched Shakespeare Shitstorm? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, anyways, we're still on the first fucking scene of this yes, movie. We need two. to move it along. <laughs> so team two, it's we got Idris Elba, we got Ratcatcher one, we got the Polka uh, Dot Man. Two, I mean Polka Dot Man, and we got John Cena. Dun dun dun, dun, dun. dun. You can't see me. Okay. <laughs> um and then They have an easy time of getting through because team one was a distraction. Yes. Yeah. So they just like fucking march right into the forest yes. with the jungle. And they're like, we're going to set up camp here. Yes. And then in the morning, we ride. Yes. And the polka dot man has polka dots all over him. Yes. He's like glowing polka dot, like, and that eventually turn to like. And then he has to shit them out, kind of. He has to puke them out. Yeah. It's like a Skittles commercial. Oh, taste the rainbow. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, meanwhile, Joel Kinnaman has been kidnapped by people. So then Amanda Waller is like, hey, Team Two, y'all need to go rescue Joel Kinnaman. Rick? Rick Flag. Mm-hmm. Rick. Uh, so go do that, and then you can go to town into this brothel where this guy named The Thinker goes after hours to harass women and be a sex pest, and he is the <laughs> head scientist of this. An incel, maybe. Probably. I mean, look at the dude. Uh, well, you know, like his little test tubes all over his I head? I did not like that. It was that. like very uh, direct-to-video sci-fi from yes. the 90s, which yeah. I, uh, I love that we're at that point. In movies, That's just like accepted. superhero movies, yeah. that like remember when they made X Men and yeah. they were like everyone has to be in these dark brown semi realistic costumes, yeah. and now we're like, fuck it, put a toilet seat thing on fucking John Cena's head, yeah. blue test tubes at this guy, people yeah. will love it, and yeah. we do, and I did love it. Uh, so the whole thing is, is that they need to get to this like what was it called, Jogenheim or Jorgenheim? Jogenheim. So that's like in Norse mythology is the land of the giants, the Jotuns. That's where Loki's oh. from. Oh, your boy. Oh, Tommy. Right, there's the, yeah, Maybe, it's Tommy. Tommy. Maybe it's time for DC Marvel crossover. Um, so they're like, you got to go to this bar, get this, intercept the scientist. You got to get him to go into Jotunheim. 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 Yeah. And you got to kill whatever experiment is in there. Yes. Project, Project Starfish. Starfish. Project Starfish. <laughs> there, that's the main plot. <laughs> yeah. So they're like, but Joel Kinman got kidnapped. Y'all got to go rescue him. So like, okie dokie, let's do. And then they go to this camp and kill a bunch of people. Yeah. A penis. Uh, there a man's penis was out. It was. Yeah, there was um, fully dick out. Was it uh what's Bloodsport? Mm-hmm. Idris Alba and then uh Peacemaker, John Cena mm-hmm. have like a kill off. Yeah. It was very like good. Like a silent kill off yeah. as they uh, as silent as you can be 
lighting a man on fire. Yes. Which seems like the least quiet way to kill someone. Yeah. But whatever, it was quiet he enough. He didn't have the stealth mechanics from The Last of Us 2 where you can hear through walls. No. And then, very, like, uh, sneak out behind people. <laughs> when uh, John Cena was on the roof, I was like, that's how I play Ghost of Shima. Oh, with this like, little, like, blowgun? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was a very cool scene, though. It was very yeah. cool. His butt looked great in those pants. Oh, right. And he showed up in tidy whities Do you have a crush on John Cena? Yeah. I like like men and women who could rip me in half. I'm a little little guy. Uh oh. So yeah, I like, you're tiny, like a little chestnut. I like like I like him big. Oh. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Like John Cena, his <laughs> arms, <laughs> his arms look like they're about the same width around as my legs. Mm-hmm. And I, if a man, I don't know. I, I like his ass. I I might. I mean, I he gotta, could put a drink on that butt. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. I like John Cena. I mean. BTS fans gotta stick together. Yeah, army. Uh, mm, yep. <laughs> Hate that term, but yep. <laughs> do wait, do you think John what do you think John Cena thinks about Liquid Jimin? Ollie London? Okay, who we've decided to call Liquid Jimin. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Are we calling okay, are we calling Jimin solid Jimin? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Park Jimin is solid Jimin. Ollie London is liquid Jimin. Um I'll think- have to face off and see who gets to become big Jimin. It's Metal Gear Solid rules. CQC. Uh, Park Jimin's winning all day. Yeah, he'll c- kill him. I think he could kill him with his bare hands. Yeah, well, one of his security could. I think he physically could. No, Jimin wouldn't want to. You saw Lee London. He doesn't legs. get his hands dirty. Yeah, I don't think Jimin would. If if there was a situation where it was like, I'm sorry, you guys have to participate in blood sport. It's It'd be like like a Hunger Games battle royale. He's thing. gonna win. Possibly. He's got great cardio. He's a really good at kendo. You saw Ollie London's legs. Yeah. His little tiny he's got the he's got the calves of a German shepherd. <laughs> Jesus. Tiny is what I was getting at. Yes. You know what I think about all you know what I think <sighs> about Liquid Jimin? Uh. I think that the less people that pay attention to him Well maybe we should stop talking about him on a podcast then. <laughs> No, but I think we now that we've like we've given him a code name, mm. so he won't know. You won't invoke the spirit. Yeah, when he listens to our podcast, I want to yeah. physically fight him. I want you to as well. I will pay for your bail if this happens. I think Solid Jimin would too. I'd call fucking Big Hit and be like, "Yo, there was an incident. <laughs> There's been some unpleasantness." You call him on your codec. Yeah, I would. Yeah. <laughs> get you to paramedic. Be like, get fucking Jimin on the horn. Keep your Godzilla facts. <laughs> Get me <laughs> Big Jimin. Yeah. <laughs> and he'll be awarded the title. Big, big, big Jimin. You might you, you just become Big Jimin. <laughs> this isn't what I wanted. <laughs> this is the opposite of what I wanted. You get a cool eye patch, possibly a wicker one, <laughs> when you're down on your luck. Okay, so we're in. We're going to Jotunheim. <laughs> yes, we're going to Jotunheim. What are we was, doing in Jotunheim? It's to take down Project Starfish. You have yes. to d- destroy the science project that's in there and all of the records that are also in there. Yes, by rigging explosives on every level of the building. Yes. Because why not? Yeah, absolutely. And I don't know that that necessarily went as planned because the Polka Dot Man kind of fucked everything up and was like, ah. the Polka Dot Man is is in is supposed to be insane, yeah, because he sees his mother everywhere. I, I I will say I think those scenes where he hallucinates his mom are some of like my favorite scenes from it. Really good, like where he's when dancing he just, in like, the club, yeah, and everyone's his mom, or like when he just looks at the rest of the, the squad and they're all his mom, but they're in the outfits, yeah, like real good stuff. Yeah, and he's like, I just pretend that everyone I'm killing is my mother, yeah. so I can kill them easily. And it's just yeah. like, all right, okay, well, um, so <laughs> they go rescue Joel Kinnaman and they kill everyone, and they go like, we're here to rescue, and he's like, oh, these are actually freedom fighters, and you, yeah, and you kill them all. Up. And the chick in it, I've seen her in like a telenovela. I forget what her name is, but she's really good. Yeah. She was in a Netflix series recently too. But anyway, so they're like, okay, we're going to do two things now. We're going to get into Project Starfish. While y'all are doing that, the Freedom Fighters are going to be just, are, are going to kill the president who's like a tyrant because they're going to be distracted with this, this building exploding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's and then Harley was kidnapped and then the pr- the current corrupt president was like, "Hey, what's up, girl? What's poppin', girl? <laughs> <laughs> How you living? What's good? What's poppin', chica? <laughs> Hola." And then he's like, "Let's get married." Yeah, which was that 
was kind of weird because it was like you represent anti-american sentiment and it gets people in this country like real riled up uh, so. they get all fucking crazy about it <laughs> they hate capitalism and then he was like um i will kill all women and children if i have to and then harley quinn was like hmm, neat if they Kablam! betray him yeah if they betray yeah. him also, I have to uh, tell you, Lloyd Kaufman was in this. Oh, was he? He was one of the dancers in the nightclub. Oh, ah, fuck, that's funny. I'm surprised we didn't. Yeah. My precious There Lloyd. was a lot going on. There was a lot going on. Yeah. And I mean, like, sometimes Uncle Lloyd, like, puts on ladies' clothing and wigs and stuff. Yeah, and, that's, true. Yeah, that's true. I, I, would, lady. I would assume that that's yeah. what he did, because he did the exact same thing in Shakespeare Shitstorm. Yeah. Right? yeah. Woman, so... I've also been in that, I said this to Scott, I was like, I've been in that exact nightclub in Mexico so many times. Like, I was in that exact one, but like, it's like, the nicest people, but you're also like, I gotta keep my fucking head on a swivel. That's how <laughs> like, you know it's a good night. Absolutely. Those are my best nights. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Not yeah. just in Mexico, just like everywhere. In general. Like, you go to a seedy place, yes. and you're like, I could die here, and but that's I part of the fun. You just need to sit at your table. Yeah, mind your business. Yeah. yeah. Stay in your lane. Yeah, like Ben Franklin said, or whatever. Yeah, that's what yeah, he said. That's what he said. I think he did. He put it on, I don't know. When George Washington, I don't know. I didn't yeah. read the book. <laughs> what? George Washington. Oh, he said, stay in your lane. <laughs> yeah. He said, yes, queen. And they he chiseled said, it on his hey, tombstone. Bestie. <laughs> they chiseled it on his, hey, sisters, quote from George Washington. <laughs> they chiseled it on his tombstone with his wooden teeth or whatever. And then JFK was like, oh my God, help, girl. I'm being shot. Uh, ben... Benjamin Franklin designed a penny, and uh, that <laughs> was uh, stamped on it. Mind your business. Actually? Actually, yeah. Mind your business. <laughs> yeah, it was the first official uh, coin of the United States. I love that. They should have stuck with that. I got facts. Yeah. I got useless fucking facts. Now like, there's like Illuminati on the money. Yeah, and now it's like, in God crazy. we trust. Fucking more like. Mind your business. <laughs> yeah. <thank laughs> yeah. God. In pod we trust. I don't know. I smell my God with two O's. Okay, so <laughs> Only God can gudge me. That's what they should put on money. Okay. So we're in the club. 50 Cent isn't there, no. but he's there in spirit. Yeah. yeah. They're playing the thong song. Dump sick a truck. <laughs> uh, yes. So we're in the club. Yes. And Idris Elba, they, they party down for a while. We <laughs> yeah. get a good scene of Polka Dot Man on the dance floor, and everyone's his mom. That guy's sexy. Oh, cute. He's got serial killer vibes, so yeah, you'd be into it. <laughs> uh, and then the thinker shows up, yes. and Idris Elba's like, it's game time. Yes. Mm, with the eyes. Uh, yeah, and he's like, this is, a, this is a gun, and I'm going to put it in your ribs, and you're going to come fucking come with me quietly. Big smiles. Everyone smile. See you, M. Yeah. And then yeah. the federales come in and are like, hey, what the fuck's we're up? We're looking for some gringos. Yeah, yeah, we're looking for some white folks. Any, any of them around here? And John yeah. Cena's like, well, you sure done got me. Yeah, so the team splits up. The B team, which is like Rat Catcher 2 and the Polka Dot Man and another ridiculous person, I think. Milton. Yes, Milton. Oh, some gr- the some dude who was just like... Milton! He was the driver. Uh, ah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Milton. And then King Shark, they're like, okay, let's take off. Yeah, they take him out the back door while the rest of them, Idris Elba and Joel John Kinnaman Cena. and John Cena surrender. And they get taken away by the Federales. Only to later... I was peeing at this point. Yes. After almost <laughs> falling the fuck over. Wow, you look drunk. You weren't, <laughs> Tell, but tell you the did. tale. What, how, how Rigby stood up and then fell back down into her <laughs> chair like a fucking, like, waist case? Yeah. Okay, like, I... You were totally soused. I was sober. I stood uh-huh. up to get out of my chair. My purse was in front of me. I tripped, my foot got stuck on my purse strap, and then I started dragging my purse, and then I tripped and fell back down into my chair. Yeah, and then the as I strap. fell, I was like, cool, everyone here thinks I'm fucking <laughs> wasted, because I was drinking. But well, I, yeah. I, I was drinking, but I was not drunk. <laughs> What's drunk? Is drunk driving all over the road? Did he tell you he was wasted and he fucking slammed right into the <laughs> post office? I'm, What's drunk, son? Air, ba- air brakes were shot to shit. Uh, and then I was like, cool. I got a piss still, and I got up, and as I was walking down the stairs, I was like, okay, Rigby, walk as sober looking as you <laughs> wink, can wink. <laughs> to make it look even more like you're sober. Mm-hmm. 
but I was sober, so I, I just walked you. normally. I believe you. It like, didn't even like phase me. I was just like, well, I guess maybe we won't be recording later. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and then at one point, like Scott was just like, look at her, and I was like, is she sleeping? What's happening over there? Because I thought maybe you were. No, you were just watching the screen. You're like, oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, I was enjoying the flim. Just mouth just open. Ah. <laughs> Love it. Um, but yes. So, I missed that because I was peeing and I was in the bathroom being like, fuck, yeah. fuck. So uh, <laughs> obviously Joel Kinnaman and crew fucking get out of their federale situation and then meet up with the other guys who have the thinker. Yep. Um, like and the then stinker. Get more like the stinker. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Uh, and then they make their way to Jotunheim. Yeah. Uh, and Jotunheim was built by the Nazis, and it was like for like their experiments. And then they're like, yeah. "Well, we cleaned that place out, but we ended up doing pretty much the exact same thing." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's well, always. I mean, that, that's, that's Americans. The way. Yeah. 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 Whooper. A little whooper duffer. You know how it is. Also, that lady uh, who was the leader of the. Uh, f- like the Freedom Fighters, mm. she was the female lead in I Am Legend. Opposite oh, Will Will, okay. yeah. Will Smith. She was also in Blindness, which is a fucked up movie. Yeah, it was a really good. And movie. she was in Predators. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Um, so yeah, that it, it is then revealed by the Thinker once they're inside the facility, planting their plastic explosives. Uh-huh. King Shark makes a little guy out of it. Yeah. It's very cute. Mm-hmm. Um, that Project Starfish is actually a gigantic fucking starfish alien called Starro the Conqueror who more useless knowledge uh. play, was Robin to Batman for a few issues what? yeah a little Robin suit I don't know comics, who made comic that books. suit? Batman just little Alfred just sewing it a little starfish <laughs> sized suit that's what pisses me off the most about superhero movies, especially like the Spider-Man, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movie, where it's like, here, I'm, I'm fucking Peter Parker doodling a suit. And then he just made this like, like extremely the, yeah. stretchy suit. Like the ama- like the great suit? Peter. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Peter. That's why the Incredibles had it right. That would have cost woman hundreds who makes of dollars. Yeah. Yes. Um, and she was like, no capes. Her name yeah. was Ida. Yeah. What Edna. did we watch, Edna. though? Um Oh, no, I watched it. Invincible. Invincible has uh, a guy that they go to to make the suits. So they cover that in, like, the cartoon. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen it. It's very good. Is it? Um, it. I liked it. Uh, very gory. Mm, I've heard that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so they discover it's a giant fucking starfish uh, alien, and that the Americans actually pulled a fucking alien, mm, mm-hmm. and, like, Ridley Scott's alien... And brought a fucking live alien aboard their ship and are like posing with it and taking selfies. Was Americans that, would do that. Yeah. They would, 100%. Yeah. And it's and, like a starfish with a big eyeball in the center yeah. of it. Yeah. So that at that point, we discover <clears throat> that Project Starfish is actually an American funded program mm-hmm. just taking place in a foreign country. Mm-hmm. Which also is so American. Yeah. So and the plan was to completely erase that. Like yeah. they were like, we can't let this get out, so we want yeah, you to kill the thing and, kill, and get rid of the records. Yeah, destroy the tower. Mm-hmm. So Rick Flag figures this out and is like, well, fuck this. I thought you were gonna say Rick Flair, and I was like, <laughs> woo. <laughs> um, yeah. So he's like, well, I can't let that happen, and takes the uh, hard drive containing the information. See, see. and uh, Peacemaker doesn't like that, so they have a little. Little rowdy shoving, little dow. Shoving they buddies. Will, yeah, they have a little rowdy dow, which ends in poor Rick Flag getting stabbed in the heart. R.I.P. Rick Flag. I know. And his yeah. last his last words were peacemaker, what a joke. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. Rick Flag, I love him. I was sad he died. Joel Kinnaman yeah. is so fucking hot. You get to see his butt in uh, altered carbon. I heard that show was good and then bad. Yeah, yeah. first season's good. Maybe Second season that's... stink. Maybe only shows some a lot of shows need only one season. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Well the book it was only one book. Oh yeah. oh I didn't know it was based on a book. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. The book's not bad. Can I watch season one contained from season two or yeah. is it... we I don't even think we finished season two. No. Uh so yeah. you can just watch it's fun. Hmm. It, it season one is its own Thing. story. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's mm. very sci fi y. Uh. Yeah. So Rick Flag dies. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and then, then the Rat Catcher 2 yeah, is like. Rat Catcher 2 sees it and is like, You fucking suck, Peacemaker. Bro. I'm out. 
takes the fucking hard drive and is like, peace. And so obviously fucking John Cena's like, dun, 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 dun. I got to chase you. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how he squeezed through the bars with those muscles, but he did. His muscles. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he's like, I'm going to kill you, kid. And she's like, please don't kill me. She's like, I like J-Hope, too. And he's like, oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Um, so he chases her down, and they, like, he's got her essentially gun in her face. Mm-hmm. And then I think we flash back. There's a couple flashbacks in it that I'm like, I get why you're doing it, because you're telling stories at the same time, but also, like, gah. Yeah. Because it flashes back eight minutes. And then you see eight minutes exactly. Yes. Um, and then you see Polka Dot Man fuck things up. And he sets off the explosives by yeah. accident, um, causing the tower to fucking start collapsing, which then ultimately allows Bloodsport to f- surf some concrete down yes. the very levels, cool which scene. was very cool. Yes. Um, and ultimately, dual Peacemaker yes. and kill him. Yeah, and it was rad as hell. Mm, or did he? He didn't. <laughs> he did not. We missed Peacemaker is Alive. Well, that oh. was the second. Well, he's got to be alive for his scene. fucking HBO okay. show. I'm sorry. Did you say that's a second end credit scene? Well, yeah. We saw the first one where Weasel was alive and shuffled off into the night. Geff the talking <sighs> mongoose. Yeah. Hong Kong. Um, but it was a callback. It was a Chekhov small bullet. Yes, it was. Because they like, you got a slow-mo scene of the bullets firing at each other. Yes. And then... Bloodsport's little bullet goes through Peacemaker's bullet. Yes. Because Peacemaker earlier was like, I'm a better shooter than you. I'll shoot bullets and they won't touch the sides of your bullet holes. Yes. And then, yeah, Chekhov's bullet hole. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. (laughs) Chekhov's bullet hole. Um, And then fucking Bloodsport (laughs) takes the fucking drive. Yes. And is like, I am now a hero. Yes. And then- Look at me! He's like threatening- I'm the whiz. He's like threatening- Amanda Waller and is like, you can fucking let every one of us go and not detonate the things that are implanted in the back of our neck or we'll release this. Yes. Eventually. Yeah. Um, Because the starfish is out. The the juice is loose. Yeah. The juice is loose. Now it's a fucking kaiju movie. Yes. Because it's gigantic. Uh Uh-huh. I have a big old eyeball. Yeah. And And then Harley's been reefing this fucking javelin around the whole fucking movie. Yeah, and I well, as soon as you see the javelin, well, the starfish, yeah. that's like, Chekhov's javelin. It is. Yeah, it's gonna go through the, the big old eyeball, and then Ratcatcher's like, uh, rats, come Pretty to much. me, just like okay, that remember? Captain Planet episode where yes, everyone okay, into I was rats. about to say no, he made the rats nice in the episode of Captain Planet. He, he cured them with heart. the power of love. He, Heart, like that's the worst power. That's not an element. It's love. It's the uh, human element. Christopher Nolan and Interstellar would disagree. <sighs> well, Christopher it, Nolan and Tenet it, can go fuck himself. It love transcends time and space. Well, what was Tenet and about then? Fucking what's his name with his leather skin is behind your bookcase, just tapping on things. He's tapping Ma- on the wall. That's Matthew a nightmare. What was Tenet about? Backwards oxygen. I'm a backwards man in the back. Okay, but back to the Captain Planet and the Planet <laughs> Okay, we got wind, water, mm-hmm. earth, yeah. fire, mm-hmm. heart. No! Okay. What I'm saying is they didn't need five planeteers. They ran out of elements. They did. Yeah, but like, love is what makes us human. Mati, I think his name was. Yes. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Gotta sit this one out, bud. Sit it out. Shit it out, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that's my opinion on Captain Planet. Because um, I believe it was Jeff Goldblum who was turning people into rats. Yeah, because he was a... Uh, verminous scum. Verminous yes. scum. Also, hey, Captain Planet, where are you now? We need you, like, a lot. Yeah, right? <laughs> He's, like, going down on, like, a rock and twink. At a gay bar, because he's gay. Is it the mother that's making you think that? Uh, It's the everything about him. (laughs) (laughs) Captain Planet is like, he, uh, one of my friends has a shirt that has Captain Planet on Mm. it. He had it made at one of those custom shirt places on just his power bottom. Okay. There's no way Captain Planet is a bottom. Are you kidding me? Uh, He is absolutely a bottom. He's a fucking, he's a fucking cake boy. Who's the top? Hoggish Greedly? Okay, he's Why the do top. I know no. these names? <laughs> what useless information. Captain Planet is a top. He's not a top. Captain Planet is a bottom. 
He's I'll a die bottom. on this hill. No, no, he's a power bottom. Yeah, I mean, if he's going to be a bottom, it's going to be a power bottom. But I think he's a top, firmly. Yeah. He's First, a- can we... Nope, he's okay. a power bottom, I'm telling you. Because no. he'll be like, ooh, fuck my ass. But he'll tell you how to do it, you know? He'll be like, ooh, fuck my ass. Direct quote. That's hot. <laughs> he'll peel off those tiny little, like, briefs. His mantis. Yeah, his mantis. Yeah, he does wear the mantis. Mm. And he's got yeah, crystal he's blue crystal skin, skin and a fucking green yeah. mullet. Are you kidding me? Yeah. He yeah he's going totally clubbing <laughs> right after he saves the world. You're making a lot of yeah. sense. Yeah, he's totally But his energy, he's got top energy. No, he doesn't. <laughs> He's so weak all the time, and he has to get brought back by the power of love all the time. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, and Gaia is always like, "Oh my god, get it together." Yeah, <laughs> she's she's like like a like 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 a mommy almost. Where she you has know to what? be like, change my mind. You're right. <laughs> you're making a lot of good points, and you know what? I I'd rather be a hypocrite than never change my mind. So uh, yeah, sorry. I agree with you on that one. He is the power bottom. Look at that. We came together. We <laughs> With the power of love. I still think that's a bullshit that shouldn't be in there. Captain Planet is like great. Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah. Do you remember the comics? No. They were good. Mm. Remember the action figures? Yeah, I had one. Did you? Who did you have? Captain Planet. <laughs> I had a crush on Wheeler. I've mentioned this multiple times on the podcast. Okay, I have a question for you. Uh, so, in Captain Planet, the red-haired kid is called Wheeler. Yes. And in Degrassi, uh, Wheels yes. is also a tall red-haired kid. Yeah. I don't like where this is going. Um, <laughs> one of Scott's old usernames used to be something involving Wheels. What's it with red-headed kids and Wheels? It's Okay, I... That was my nickname in high school because of Degrassi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's like some Canadian classic. Yeah. yeah. Is it Remedy? Everybody yeah, wants right. something. We got it downstairs. We can watch the whole fucking series. My brother had a big crush on Spike. Everyone had like, a big yeah, crush duh. on Spike. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> she had a cool Pogues shirt. Yeah. She fucking ruled. Yeah. But do you remember when she, uh, there was a goth guy named Claude and then he like was like going to shoot up the school or something and then killed himself in the bathroom instead? <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> Problem solver. He didn't have any follow through. He had like roses and he wore a vest. <laughs> what do you mean he had roses? I think he handed them out to girls. Oh my god, dude. And he had like a little cross earring. That's how you knew he was. walk around town with a wheelbarrow full of roses. Like, what? <laughs> That's how you knew he was new wave. He had a cross earring and he oh wore a god. vest. Was it just Robert Smith? Come on, that's rude to Robert Smith. <laughs> that is. Robert Smith is cool. He was just high on drugs and sang songs about cats and fucking. <laughs> yeah. And food. He's a he's a he's an he's a large man. He's of a, course he's, he's a he's a, he's a yeah. It's not he's... good food though, because he's British. Oh. But he's like, I'm gonna go nip down to the shops for a cheeky nut. <laughs> There's a line in a Cure song that's like, I like to see you eat in the middle of the night. You always take a big bite. It's such a gorgeous sight to see you eat in the middle of the night. So he's got like a hot lady eating fetish. Oh, he's like, oi, bro, is there any more uh, oh, chips left in the fridge? I need some sausage rolls. Yeah. Ugh. I uh, Go nip down to the shop. Get me some walkers. Get some crisps. Yeah. Him and Ed Sheeran hang out. Oh, my God. Ed Sheeran. Okay, we cannot go down an Ed Sheeran hole. We're back in Jotunheim, fucking blood the sports. It's over. They killed the fucking thing. Yeah. yeah. So they're fighting the kaiju. Yeah. yeah. The polka dot man takes out one of his starfish arms and then immediately gets killed, which was sad for me because but that guy's super hot. He got to die a hero because yeah. he's like, I'm a hero. And as he's like shooting it, he's imagining the fucking starfish as his mom. Yeah, really he, so he, shoots, he shoots his mom on the cankle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a cankle. <laughs> She said. <laughs> uh, and then uh, Harley jumps off a, like a building. building. Yeah, and she does like a... Cool guy. Yeah, like a cool guy, like uncharted type jump. Yes. With, yeah. a, with a javelin. With a javelin. And or, then, or, or, or more like a Tomb Raider type is, jump. No. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. It was a very it Tom is. Hiddleston Loki jump. I'd, like, it was like the... I watched a video about Uncharted, so it's in mm. my head. Yeah, Scott's... We've been doing a lot of stuff lately. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fucking to the Uncharted soundtrack, maybe. <laughs> Could you imagine? Just all that and then oh, Sully. Nathan Drake. Oh. Oh, oh, Sully's mustache. Oh, I, yeah, baby. I don't know about that, Nate. 
And you're like, yeah, Sully, I do know about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Sully, tell me how to do it. <laughs> oh, Sully, I love him. Like that porn that has Twilight Town, just the music from Twilight Town playing in the background. What? <laughs> It's like a fucking Pornhub porn where like someone's getting dicked down and then yeah. it just has like the Twilight Town Kingdom Hearts music Somebody in the background. Somebody just pause. Like someone's playing Kingdom Hearts. They're like, hey, time for your shoot. And he's like, oh, fuck. Uh, I'm not. Well, it's like, I'm a, pausing it's, like this. it's like homemade porn. Uh, somebody absolutely pause their fucking Kingdom Hearts yeah. game. It's just like the Tarzan level in the background. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, the I'm fucking in... Hunter. I'd oh, freak the fuck out if it was like Donkey Kong. I thought like, dude. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yes, that'd be so good. That'd kill your horny right there. No, I think it'd just get me more amped up. For some... To throw barrels and like yeah. fuck a bit. You still got it. <laughs> All right, back to Suicide Squad. This podcast yeah. is like taking a weird turn. We drank a bunch of G Fuel before this. We're not responsible for anything that was said on this. Harley jumps in, kills the fucking octopus. Stabs the octopus S- in the star- eye, which allows fish, starfish, rat sorry. catcher to... Ratcatcher to not to be confused with one. No. Never yeah. one, always two. Because one was yeah. Taika Waititi who yes. died with a needle in his arm. Very yes. sad. R.I.P. Yes. Taika. Um, he's not hey, really dead. you know what? <laughs> yeah. okay. No, he's not. Because I think he's in Thor. Anyway. <laughs> also, we'd know if he's All dead. the rats, anyway, go, the in the rats the... go in the eyeball. And then they eat the fucking starfish from the inside out. It's very cool. And the starfish is like, ah, fuck. And, and the you... starfish was like, once upon a time, I was happy when I was floating in space. And, then and I was like, <laughs> so, I would drink to that, brother. And to represent, again, the one brain cell, you both made a Plague Tale Innocence reference yes. within seconds of each Absolutely other. Absolutely, we do. <laughs> yeah. Well, because I've been watching you play Plague Tale, and I'm like, these rats are fucking everywhere, huh? <laughs> well, this, this game's got a lot of rats, lot huh? Of rats. <laughs> and I'm like, what, what the fuck's the deal with these rats? They don't care for the light, or what's <laughs> happening? <laughs> Got a rat game. <laughs> like I got up, I was like <laughs> confused and staring at the TV, like scratching my ass. Like, what is those rats? What's what's got a rat? What what's going on with all these rats? It's the Black Plague. Oh, I was playing Resident Evil Three recently, and Matt was like, "What are you playing?" And I was like, "Resident Evil 3 and I was shooting a bunch of zombies in the street. He's like, "What are these zombies?" And I was like, <laughs> "Yeah." <laughs> Yes! <laughs> we went through like a couple weeks there where we had like a real big like Black Plague renaissance over here because yeah. last podcast was doing like a Black Plague series oh. and then Scott was playing Plague Tale and, and I was then just you like, got the Black Plague because that rat bit you in the ankle. It happens. <laughs> bit me yeah. on the cankle. <laughs> ah, my cankle! <laughs> Anyways, Starfish dies. And then they're like, bye, we're, we're free now. Yeah, well, what's blood sport is like I've, I've got it on a private server I've got the evidence and you better let us go yeah and then his daughter sees him be like a hero on TV yes. and then a little redemption arc yeah which I also kind of sucks because Rick Flagg was like the American public needs to see this and then he died for no reason and really. then Will or Idris Elba was like uh question yeah. mark he's a mercenary yeah that's that's it's... fair and then Peacemaker is still alive and he's getting his own HBO Max series that yeah. debuts January 2022 John Cena's in it do, 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 do. okay yes he is you maybe BTS me. will be in it maybe Liquid Jimin and or Solid Jimin I want to see John Cena pile drive I want to see Jimin. someone show John Cena Liquid Jimin he probably knows about Oh, him. he fucking does. He's like all... He he loves BTS. He knows about fucking Liquid Jimin, for sure. I don't care for that at all. I don't care that regular Jimin knows about Liquid Jimin. I don't care that we know about that. It's just no. like that movie that we watched last night. Where but you, we're spreading where you, the curse. Yeah, well, yeah. it's like the it's ring... Like booty tape. <laughs> it's like the ring video tape. Um, it's like if, in that movie where you go outside and you breathe the, like, the toxin oxygen that erases your mind. Yes. I wish that after I had found out about Ollie London that I could just go outside and take a big breath of air and just like I love erase it. a few childhood memories and, and the memories of Ollie London. Like I forget how to make a peanut butter sandwich, but I also it's don't know it. about yeah. Ollie London. I love when he went on Dr. Phil. I was like, when I'm in Korea, people say, they say Jim Min, Jim Min. Imagine they, if they f- don't. <laughs> Imagine if you forgot how to make a peanut butter sandwich. You could rediscover the peanut butter sandwich. That'd be amazing. That's, um, that's great. I want to forget that I watched like so many TV shows and movies, so I could just watch this yeah. for the first time. Mm. I mean, brain damage. We'll right. That. Yes. But then it's like it's like an ignorance is bliss commentary. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I hate being smart. I hate being self aware. I'm sick of thoughts. Yeah, it's like that line that Steve Buscemi speaks in Ghost World, where it's like you give most people a Big Mac and, and a pair of Nikes and they're happy. Yeah. He's like, sometimes it seems better. Or the line that Steve Buscemi says in Spy Kids, and he says, do you think that God stays in heaven because he too is afraid of what he created? Deep. <laughs> okay. Spy Kids. 
Sylvester Stallone was in that. Now we're back to fucking Suicide There we go. It's it's a Robert Rodriguez movie. It's a fucking classic. Yeah, yeah. All right. I was talking about this last night with the guys at the Paramount because he was wearing a fucking Spy Kids button. Amazing. Yeah, and I was like, screen Spy Kids? Yeah. No. What time? Oh. Yeah. He, uh, Sam, shout out to you, Sam. He had a Spy Kids button and a Drunk in a Graveyard button. And I was like, those are two very weird buttons to have on your work apron, but all right. Great. Yeah. <sighs> Anyways, we need to Holly hang out. We need to hang out with Sam. To this, I'll kill you. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> so, what did we think? I loved it. What What are we giving it? What's a rating? Six out of six, yeah. dude. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a six out of six. Graveyard Smash. Oh, Graveyard, Graveyard Smash. Smash. James was... Gunn, Graveyard Smash. It was good, dude. I just liked it. I just liked it. Please make more. Well, no, maybe not. Don't make more. Maybe not. I just liked it. Full stop. <laughs> I just make liked something it. else that's also good. Give yeah. James Gunn more money. Yes. Yeah. I am interested to see what this Peacemaker thing is. I don't have a lot of hope because it's I, be bad. I don't know that. I think it's like not potentially James Gunn, which means yikes. Mm. We'll is it see. like a comedy? Like, I don't think that character by himself is like strong enough to carry anything. I don't know. I don't know. Um, we'll find out. I guess. We, well, we won't. Yeah, we'll find out. Wink, wink. When we buy HBO Max, wink, wink. Yeah. Boy, oh boy. I can't wait to pay for another streaming service. <laughs> I don't I mean, think we can could... get HBO Max. No, I might either. sail the seven seas for that one. Yeah, I would fucking give them money, but they won't come to Canada. My dad's like, I, I would too. My, my dad's like so fired up. We don't have HBO Max. Yeah. It bothers me. He's like, I've been watching Acorn TV, which is an app. Acorn? It's an app at all places British shows. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, my yeah. parents love the BBC. Uh, it's not as good as Tubi. No, Tubi's the fucking intergalactic cable. Anyways, it sure is. We also recently had to tell someone about Tubi, the it's wild great. world of Tubi, for yeah. the first time. So shout out to you, Dushan. That one's for you. Oh that's, boy, it's free. Uh, okay, so I think that's gonna wrap it up for this week. Uh, go see Suicide Squad is playing in theaters now. We had a lovely time, and be sure to check us out online. We're drunkinagraveyard.com. Follow us on all of our social media. On Twitter, we're drunk graveyard. On Instagram and Facebook, we are drunk in a graveyard. If you are local to Calais this Friday the thirteenth, we will be screening Texas Chainsaw. A massacre, Ooh. the OG, yeah. at the Paramount in downtown Calais at 645. There's going to be a costume contest. We got prizes. We got really good prizes, actually. Mm. We got awesome meat. They're very, I want these prizes. They're yeah, good. we got meat and beer. <laughs> yeah. What, I, what I, more I could like, you want? I like pussy and beer. <laughs> Not to quote <laughs> Clerks too. What much. is this arm motion you're doing? <laughs> Whatever. Okay. It is what it is. Uh, what else we got going on? Oh, what we do in the shadows will be screening at the Twin Rivers Drive-In Friday the 13th. Starts at 8 o'clock, uh, 845. I believe. Yes. Yes. And I think that's it. That's all we yeah. got going on. Yeah. That's it, bro. We're, oh, well, we're also screening Pig and The Green Knight, but you'll have to check that out online at thekfs.ca for more information. If you're local to Kamloops or if you're not, come up and have a visit, have a drink. Now that we can, like, party down, kind of post-COVID, get your Party vaccines. down. Party down with the youths. Yeah. The Zoomers love me. Oh, Maybe. Okay. Well, anyways, anyways so that's going to cool guy. That's oh, going to be boy. it. Go oh, see no. Suicide Squad. Make sure to call it Pooicide Squad. <laughs> and if you see John Cena, just don't tell him about Liquid Jimin. And yeah, always <laughs> stay spooky.